he was a popular inspirational painter of realistic and breathtaking scenes known as the painter of light he had the honor of painting the cross seen at the Billy Graham Museum he is known for selling millions of copies of his paintings he received many awards for his work including multiple National Association of Limited Edition Dealers Awards for Artist of the Year and Graphic Artist of the Year. And his art was named Lithograph of the Year nine times. In his art, he placed an emphasis on the value of simple pleasures and said that he intended to communicate inspirational, life-affirming messages through his work for the glory of God. Before his unexpected death on Good Friday, April the 6th, 2012, he held the title of being America's most collected living artist. He says of his salvation experience and the impact that it had on his work, I became a Christian in 1980 when I was about 22 years old. And I would say that when I was saved, my art got saved. It was then it was then that a very interesting transition began in my life. I started to see the characteristic of light begin to develop within my work. The darkness was leaving and the light was beginning to break forth. For example, my paintings prior to that time were very much self-defining and idiosyncratic. They were very much my own expression. I had little interest in how my art affected other people. In fact, my college professors would constantly make the point that one's art is all about one's self. It doesn't matter if someone else understands or likes it. It doesn't matter if they purchase it. All that matters is you. It was art as self-expression as opposed to any concern for or consciousness of an audience or any desire to impact other people. When I became a Christian, I began to challenge that notion. He credited the Lord for both the ability and the inspiration to create his paintings. He says, my goal is to touch all people, to bring peace and joy into their lives through the images I create. And I see my art as a ministry tool to share Jesus Christ with the masses. His name is Thomas Kincaid. This is the Chief of Sinners, Daniel White III, President of Gospel Light Society International. And just as Thomas Kincaid gave his life to Christ, may I encourage you to do the same today. Here is how. John 3.16 reads, 
For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Now, dear friend, that is God's word. Let's break it down. For God so loved the world. That means that if you are in this world, God loves you. No matter who you are, where you are, or what you have done, God loves you. <clears throat> God loves you more than you love yourself. He loves you so much that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to suffer, to bleed, and to die on the cross for your sins and for mine. His only begotten son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the Savior. He was crucified, then he was buried, and on the third day he rose from the dead. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Whosoever means anybody at any time means anybody of any race, any color, or any socioeconomic status makes no difference. Just believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will not perish. Perish where? Perish in hell. But have everlasting life where? In heaven with God. If you believe on Jesus Christ as your Savior, you will not perish in hell, but rather live forever in heaven with God. It is a free gift. Dear friend, the Bible also says in Romans 10, 9 and 13, that if thou, you, shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Dear friend, if you're willing to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ for salvation right now, please pray with me this simple prayer. Heavenly Father, I realize that I am a sinner and that I have done some bad things in my life. I have broken some of your laws, if not all of them. For Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive me of all of my sins. I now believe with all of my heart that Jesus Christ died for me, was buried, and rose again. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and save my soul and change my life today and forever. Amen. Dear friend, I want to congratulate you on doing the most important thing in life and that is receiving Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Until next time, remember, dear friend, believe by faith, share the faith, and keep the faith. May God bless you.